Rated every single World Cup kit. Group E. Going to start off with Costa Rica. Um, I think this is a bit of a snide photo. So a bit lazy from a research point of view from me. Uh, this is the shirt. There's just a New Balance logo. Uh, now, New Balance, uh, I believe this is the only kit that they're doing at the World Cup. And it shows. You guys are not very good at making kits. It's very boring. Um, not sure who signed this off at the Costa Rican Fed uh, Football Federation. But uh, not really feeling it. Just a warning uh, that the home kit doesn't really get any better. And here is the away kit. It's a white version. Uh, can you believe that people actually get paid uh, to, to make these? Um, this guy certainly, um, I hope he got paid enough to model this because it's absolutely rubbish. There's not much going on at all. I've had you know better PE kits than that when I was a child. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, New Balance, come on, you know, you're, you're on the world stage here. And Costa Rica, how, how often do you get to go to the World Cup? I know you've had a really poor World Cup, but come on, take a bit of pride in it. Next up is the Japan home kit, and, you know, we associate Japan with being cool, very fashionable, and this shirt lives up to the expectations. I think the picture actually doesn't do it justice. I think when you see uh, the play on TV, I think it's a really smart kit, uh, and I'm all for it. Now for the away kit of Japan, again, nice continuity. There's, uh, there's similarities between the home shirt and this shirt. Uh, I think it's quite nice. Um, I think it, you know, um, shows the badge quite well. The colours that are on the sleeves, it really helps the badge pop out. I quite like it. Next up is the Spain home kit. It's got a nice retro feel to it, really nice colour. Um, obviously, they've started the um, World Cup really good form, smashing Costa Rica in their rubbish kit, 7-0. Um, you know, they could do something special in this kit. I think it's really nice. And it, it gives me similar vibes to the one that they um, wore in 2010 when they won the World Cup. Now for the away kit. Um, it's not for me. I think it will be for people. I think it's quite nice. Um, a nice colour, a nice sort of baby blue. Um, I don't think it's amazing, but um, I think this, there'll be a divided opinion on this one. It, you know, it's, 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 it's very inoffensive. Now for the German home kit, you know, like in Mighty Ducks, when like the opposition team come in and they just look really slick and they're all really grown up compared to like the, you know, the bunch of mishaps, you know, fat kid and, uh, you know, much younger and they look like they're going to get absolutely pied. This has got, you know, proper power, authority to it, you know, very smart kit, uh, this German kit. And there's no respite for their opponents with the away kit as well. Very serious kit, very cool. Um, you know, you wouldn't want to come up against the Germans in this kit. 